it's with a sense of victory and not defeat that I'm suspending my campaign. Off the top at 5 o'clock, independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. making that announcement today and throwing his support behind Donald Trump. This is Vice President Kamala Harris wraps up the DNC and heads back to Washington. And that's where we find our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live with the latest on the race for the White House. Ben. Nicole Lee in our case says he's not dropping out of the race, but merely suspending his campaign as he called out the DNC and then endorsed Trump. I mean, here's a describe the path forward. Independent candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. announced Friday he's suspending his campaign. I am not terminating my campaign. I am simply suspending it and not, not ending it. RFK says he will remove his name from the ballot in 10 battleground states, but adds he will remain on others. I encourage you to vote for me. It's from behind the podium in Phoenix. The nephew of former Democratic President John F. Kennedy endorsed the Republican nominee, former President Donald Trump. President Trump says that he will reopen negotiations with President Putin and end the war overnight as soon as he becomes president. This alone would justify my support for his campaign. Trump will travel to Arizona later today. In the meantime, the former commander in chief rallied support in Las Vegas. We just had a very nice uh, endorsement from RFK Jr. I want to thank Bobby. That was very nice. That was really very nice. That's, that's big. He's a great guy, respected by everybody. It comes one day after Vice President Kamala Harris. I accept your nomination. Harris made history during the grand finale at the DNC as the first black woman and Asian American to lead a major party ticket. This election is not only the most important of our lives, it is one of the most important in the life of our nation. As she took aim at Trump, warning he's a danger when it comes to reproductive rights, foreign policy, the and the economy. He doesn't actually fight for the middle class. Instead, he fights for himself and his billionaire friends. Now the Trump campaign has touted they will have a special guest at tonight's rally in Arizona, hinting that it could be RFK. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.